Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition featuring the Festering Skies DLC. And we got a nice little Anu base defense here, which I'll never complain about to, to gain supplies and diplomacy uh, with Anu. But there's a couple quick things I want to do. I, I realize we've been sitting on these these uh, archaeology probes and while we have a lot discovered we have we have no guarantees that we have everything we need discovered quite yet even though we're making progress uh, so while we're here in this zone i'm going to back out and we're going to see about covering this area right here that we can reach uh, with some probes because if i put one uh, say there's going to be some overlap, and I don't know if the second probe will really cover all that much, but it'll fill the gaps. We're going to put out two right here now, and we're going to put out the second one, and that'll cover right down this way. And pretty much what we're left with, other than maybe a weird little corner piece or, or whatnot here, we're just left with not covering uh, Alaska and uh, the Indonesian area, New Zealand, and Antarctica. So we're in pretty good shape there overall. And, and, and with that in mind, I'm just going to, just because they're so cheap, uh, we're going to build, let's say, probably the last four we're going to have to worry about. Look at that, two tech, eight materials, one, two, three, four. Uh, so ne next time we have a chance, we can, we can set them up down there. Unless, of course, I end up with that last bit of uh, materials I need with... Uh, manufacturing and we find it before then then we'll just then we'll just ditch them because we won't need them uh, the other thing I want to uh, to mention here is uh, we they've kind of been sitting there for a long time let's go down to the bottom we have two unnamed rookies down here we have a, a rookie heavy uh, who isn't wearing the coolest armor at the moment but we, we, we obviously can change that he happened to get a promotion I hadn't noticed uh, so we're gonna take it and um, he's almost level seven. And this is just from a guy sitting in the base uh, getting trained up. And we also have uh, also with him is a technician. So we got a heavy and a technician if you're looking for a character. And I know it's late game, but heck, they're higher level than some of these guys we've had out on missions. So, you know, <laughs> don't think if you grab this character, they won't ever get used because it's so late game. If you're looking for a technician, if you're looking for a heavy, let me know. And speaking of technicians, these are my new favorite technician weapons. And I'm actually going to build it just so my newest technician, uh, in fact, uh, this is the quickest way to find it. Just look at the technician equipment. He's got his arms. He's got his basic defender, but no, no, no. We want lasers, all laser all the time. So we'll give him, we'll build two scorchers for him also. And uh, we got that under control. So if you're looking for, for a team member, let me know. And finally, we're, we're getting to that point where we're getting to slowly getting to the later game technology and, and what this paralyzing weapons, uh, venom, crossbow poison resistant kind of stuff when you start seeing some of these advancing that means uh the pandorans are going to start advancing with more paralyzing weapons they're going to start advancing with no more poison weapons and venom kind of options so just be aware they they, they sound like a lot of fun uh, but the moment we gain new technology guess what the pandorans start evolving with it too and the game becomes a little trickier so i just thought i'd throw that out there depending on your level of familiarity with the game that's kind of how it works let's get back here to this mission right here because this is the one that's about to happen let's deploy it's a nighttime mission and i'm not going to stick around for daytime uh i didn't see the if the daylight bar was uh about to pass us i might hang out till it was daytime but we're going to take on this high threat level mission Yep, we're doing it at night, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it at night. Nice payoff as usual. Nice diplomacy. The diplomacy hits now with helping a haven are a little little heftier than I, I remember them with the with the newest update and correction. Um, but we, Anu is our lowest uh, faction as far as uh, diplomacy goes, so I don't mind gaining that. And if we lose a, a tad uh with toby tobias west or sinidrian <laughs> with their multiple accents um 
So be it. All right. We know this team. We've seen them a lot. This is this is like the original core that's been flying around for a while. Let's just go see if they have what it takes uh, as far as equipment to get this one done. And we do like what we're seeing here. Uh, speed, but I, I want more strength than anything. And you know what that extra pop of strength does? Do we have another rocket? No, we don't have the extra rocket for you. Uh, but guess what? We do now. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> Very simple. I like shooting rockets. And probably I don't need to build any more because by the time you shoot these two, reload, get two more off. That's that's a, You probably don't even need a full third round of rockets on a normal mission. We'll stop there for the moment. Uh, but you, Takeda, you are loaded to bear. Uh, Joe Murata, what can we do with you? Well... Uh, you got some nice weapons. I don't think there's anything else. We saw how handy these were. Um, we're going into Anu, and we'll have a chance to do some stuff. And we're starting to get some of our Nur Razors uh, coming out of the production line. So you know what I'm going to do with you? Since you tend to get up on the close side anyway. We're going to give you that Nur Razor. We're going to... Drop something else. Sinidrian laser assault rifle. Well, guess what? We don't even. Have, we already. I already switched out the late <laughs> laser assault rifle and forgot to unload the weapon. Um. And then I'm just gonna pop you that other bit of strength, so I don't have to get rid of anything else. There you go. Problem solved. Drumix, uh, you. Uh, I think we're just gonna focus uh, on one more pop of willpower for you. And uh, you're looking equipped, fine and dandy. In fact, here, here we're, we did the same thing. Sloppy me, the uh, last time we went out, I didn't get rid of your laser weapon. So uh, you, you can actually afford to carry a little extra pop of something like a grenade. Callum, sick note. You are not needing any strength. You can carry just about anything you want and more. So uh, we're going to pop that into strength. I mean, excuse me, speed for you. Skipping the strength because you, you, you don't need it. My man doesn't need it. Kairos. Uh, did we get a grenade launcher built? I know we've been looking at building one. It's in the queue still, I believe. Uh, strength wise, I'm thinking let's drop these. and Let's see if you can manage to carry your flamethrower again. Just in case. And uh, I think we can get away with one med kit on you being a heavy. And that's the way we're going to do it for you. So you got your mid range, your short range, and your burn them up range. So that, that, that works for me. Um, you know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll think about these. I'm not going to go into the pool for them, though. They're, they'll, they'll be upcoming choices that we'll have soon enough. Michael Romanoff. Uh, yes, we are going to do the strength thing for you because you're close to being maxed out on will and speed. And you got two kinds of weapons here. Is there any other kind? We've got to make sure you have a pistol. Um, I really want to make sure you have a pistol. And unfortunately, we don't have like an amazing Sinedrian pistol here for you. So we'll give you the new Jericho one. And uh, we'll make sure you have ammo for it. And now, you're pretty well rounded. And that should be it. Yeah, we're ready to go. Everything on this battlefield is automatically recovered. Let's go find out how threatening these enemies are going to be. Okay, uh, nobody down here saying that we can see anybody. Let's kind of get the overview. It's the single building protection that we have. So that's the direction we're going to have to move so we can try our best to save the building. Um, we'll have definitely we'll have our two heavies jumping high, just maybe one on each side or depending on, on, on what we notice out there on the battlefield. Once we get moving now, as far as ways up, I guess we're going to stay low initially. Uh, we can come if we get into the interior and it's quiet. We can start going up staircases, climbing ladders to get up high if necessary. So there's a path to get up high if we need it. 
Uh, Joe Marotta, how about we start out with you uh, doing a little dashy dash, trying to get some sight of the enemy. And uh, this is one of those missions. This is going to be another one of those. We've had a lot of them lately where we start moving early on and we don't see a lot. No time to lose. So they apparently are not in the building interior directly. So that means uh, when they get to the interior, hopefully that means we beat them. In fact, uh, we'll, we'll just come all the way up to the structure we need to protect on this move. Right there. And nothing. The interior is sounding quiet, just the way we like to hear it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we find anything now with you, Drumex. We're, we're actually going to probably dash you into the interior in the Maximum same way. And, oops, I jipped you out of a step here. Let's not do it again. And we'll kind of bring you off to the other side. Since there doesn't appear to be a, a, a threats off to the side, we'll just get you, our, ourselves in a position to move some way, left or right, at a moment's notice. You, Takeda, I'm almost, uh, yeah, yeah, the health is okay. Your health isn't quite full, but it's, it's not bad. I think what we'll do is we'll uh, try... We'll just go Kairos to the left. In fact, we, we can go Kairos to the left to activate. So that's good. We, we, we found someone to activate. It's the only one. So we might as well do it. Get, get him on our side. So Kairos, jump away. I had a feeling you can just barely make it. Good news. Taking action. And in that space jump, we saw nothing. We saw nothing. Uh, we're just gonna keep you moving up. Moving now. We don't know where you need to be yet. So, uh, you Takeda, we're gonna try the same thing with you, although I think you may have to step out to be able to get over there. Oh yeah. So let's step you out. Move. And get you flying. And you should be able to run over and activate. So we're at least gonna get support right away earlier than normal. Uh, from the Disciples of Let's Anu. Get this done. In your flight, do you see anything on this side? No! Absolutely not. Oh, you can't quite activate this turn, though. You want to know what happens when that when when that happens, when you're a step away from, from gaining control of them? He'll jump down the edge. <laughs> He'll jump off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> and then we don't get <laughs> we don't get them. Isn't that the way? Advancing. Isn't that the way it usually works? Something like that, right? Something like that. Now we got our snipers uh, to bring up as follow up. We do not know where we need to be, so I'm going to leave them actually on the outer edge of the building, since we know the interior feels pretty quiet. Just to to see if they have shots left and right. That, that's what I'm thinking of doing here. Advancing. And with their uh, usually superior detection, oh, you can't even make it. You can't even make it. So I, I guess we better at least, because you know something's got to be out there. We're going to at least give you cover of some kind. I'm going in. And we're going to do our, our measly little pistol overwatches also. You know, for things that might come around the corner and well it's a pistol so we'll go wide to make us at least feel protected right oh and we didn't even bring you a pistol did we that that's an oversight right there for Callum uh, so Callum crouch down now we've got a berserker and I guess the the big thing to do with the berserker is uh, let's let's peek over some edges here I am let's do this and even on the edges, we don't see anything. What the hey? It's like we're playing Sinedrian again. It's like every, all, all everybody's tur blah, 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 blah. become Sinedrian. And we'll bring you down a slightly lower level over here and take a peek. I almost don't want to bring you down yet, because what if all the action ends up being over here? I don't want you way over on this side without a convenient way to cross over. So we're going to run you down here to try and get a peek into the back corner. And still nothing. Wow. Crazy. Well, I think now we're finally going to get some sound cues, so let's find out where they're coming from. Oh, thank 
<laughs> you Takeda, Anu healed you up. How about that? They're so nice. Well, there's one. Oh, he, he, he ignored us. He ignored my snipers and went for the structure. Shame on him. Or it. Or her. Or them. Ooh -hoo. And he looks colorful, so that means, well, he can do something. Like explode. Whether it's acid or po poison, I don't know. But they've been able to come in and take some shots at that structure. So, we've got to do something about that and tell them in no uncertain terms, no. Unfortunately, uh, we did not gain sight uh, right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to move our sniper over and hopefully we'll pick up sight right here. I can see them. That Myrmidon and... Th oh, oh, God, there's another Myrmidon and I still can't see this guy. Let's do this. There we go. That's why he's a marksman and, he, and I'm glad we move forward to getting sight on this guy because he needs to go away. And uh, so, so does this guy. So maybe we end up having to do a little boomity boom on him or something to get rid of him but we, we, we'll think about that when the time comes let's get rid of this guy because he's deadly got a deadly weapon uh, you name it he's got to go and we'll get rid of the chameleon torso right off the bat Bam. so we can follow up with the damage uh, uh, we are also going to follow up with uh, extra damage from you, and we're going to quick aim it just so if we need to, we can at least get you moved after this shot. Or it may take two shots just to kill him, because he's a hefty son of a gun down here. If this weapon only does X amount of damage, uh, you know he's a hefty guy, and he's not frozen in movement. So let's see if we can freeze him in movement. There we go. He's decided to stay still for us. Look at that. I, he, he's, he, did I, do I have the right weapon? Yeah, I did. And that's so much. You must have, uh, as I go to try and point at our guy, you you must have um, the sniper's perk or something to do all that extra damage. Because yours hit a lot harder over here. That makes me curious. Michael Romanov, I'm guessing you must have that sniper's perk. So we do need the quick aim just to take this guy out. And uh, he dang well better be bleeding out of here. What were his total hit points? 310! That's obscene. But he will bleed out. Okay. So we got uh, another guy down here, which is kind of important to do some damage on, because he went and did damage to our structure. And then after that, we'll have to worry about the Myrmidon. So I'm wondering, can you get close enough? And, and let me tell... Yeah, that, I imagine that should be close enough to take a single swing on him. And uh, we'd actually have the ability to do armor break, which we're probably going to do just to do extra shred damage on him. And let's let's take a look at this one. Watch out, I'm moving in. Target located. And that's another deadly guy. And we're going to be standing right next to him. So hopefully we can help out our Anu brother and help him get this done because this guy also 400 and freaking 10 hit points oh, 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 oh my god i'm on the move now so we're coming over here well we could uh, electric kick to shock and is shock i don't know how much shock i would need to actually have him shocked um I wish I knew for sure. We're going to do armor break because he is armored up. We're going to take our stick and swing. And look at that. We're going to hardly do any damage, but we're going to get that extra shred at least. So if I can maybe dash some of our other guys over here, we'll be able to help out. All right. Let's go take a look at this damage on this guy. 
Uh, we've got him infected by virus. He is bleeding. Can we tell what body part is bleeding? It's the torso. And if anything, that would have been the regenerate. Actually, that's we're lucky we hit the torso because that's usually would have, what would have made him disappear. Uh, but he is by no means dead. <laughs> what, what else you want me to say? We need him Here. dead. Now, the good news is uh, we are probably double dash range. Yes, we are. And we have dash. We are double dash range to a nice, for a nice shotgun shot. And I imagine if I come over to this table, I can shoot it into that torso that's damaged to really maximize our, our damage output. The problem is, will you also Gentlemen. be within range? Barely. So those two shots, we're ignoring this Myrmidon with them. We do have a couple options for, for Myrmidons after that, but can you believe it? I'm saying uh, forget the Myrmidons. Well, when you're talking about these kind of tritons, yeah, you can understand why. So we're going to run you first, Joe Murata. And I don't know, hopefully running you down, running you up here, is that, yeah, it looks farther, so let's get us farther up. Hopefully you can still, oh yeah, you're right by the stairs too, so our next dash should get us where we want. Okay, so it didn't get me right where I wanted. I was hoping we'd get by that table. Just so I can not click on the UI. Let's get you right here. No time to lose. And check out this shotgun shot. Which is still pretty good for when he turns again. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 got it. We got it. Let's do it. That is an amazing weapon, and I'm glad we did the shred and armor break. That's what made the difference, ladies and gentlemen. That's what made the difference. The question here becomes, um, how effective... Receiving loud and clear. How effective... Because I can come down here... come down here and uh, is the flamethrower going to do enough damage? Will the flamethrower get him burning? Will the flamethrower keep him from doing hurtful things to us? I don't know. Um, let's also tab back down here. Drummix, can you make it anywhere up here? Yeah, you'd actually be able to double dash as a follow-up. Um, why don't we give you course he's turning the wrong way so we, we we're gonna have a hard time seeing his torso but let's get you up here first to do some damage to him and maybe just maybe let's find out what he had does he have acid or poison poison I think is more manageable if if my calculations fail to prove out now I just gotta pick the right path to get up these stairs so we'll come right here. And how far does it get? It gets us in good position right here. But before I do that, let me double check because I've already uh, a little hazy on exactly how far the heavy can get. So the heavy, you'd only be able to get there. So maybe we have to see if you can shoot from the other spot. So let's go back down here. Will you have a shot on the Myrmidon from there? It says yes, you would, even though there's a work of art in between. Uh, so we're going to dash you up there. Pushing on. And hope. This game isn't doing one of its funky. Yeah, you can see it, that little tip of the wing. Let's hope that's not the case. Okay, that's not the tip of the wing. That's a pretty damn good shot. Um, but it's definitely a wing shot. I, I'd feel much better if we were taking out the torso. Oh, he opened his wings to give us access to the torso. Um, yeah, we can do pretty good damage, too. So open your wings. One of those times I'm not worried about... Uh... Well, come on. There we go. Now we got the shot we want. 
and we did the damage we want. And actually, we took out the torso, didn't we? I think that keeps him from exploding, does it not? Um, but you have the ability to jet jump. We might have, be able to just clean up the uh, activity without the flamethrower, so we don't have to worry about flames blocking our movement. So let's bring you down here, Kairos. Heading out. And we are, well, the torso is gone, so if we kill it, it won't explode, right? Because I would hate to pick up... <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to pick up explo uh, poison that way. Let's hope not. Let's hope with the damaged torso, he will not explode. Oh, he exploded. But he didn't get us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember that. Even with the damaged torso, he explodes when he dies. The thing to remember is he can't come up to us and explode, I believe, when his torso is damaged. So we, we maybe would have been better off to just ignore the guy. Okay. Michael Romanov. He's dying. Michael Romanov, because of that stupid wall, you cannot see the other guy. So we're just going to back you off. And uh, we're going to take this action here. And that is our overwatch of the pistol in case this dude decides to fly towards us. Now, you Takeda. You know, I, I wish just by choosing you, you will have activated this guy because I want to do grenades and, and you know what's down there. But I, I, I guess I can then, if I take you a step, you'll be able to do one grenade, one rocket with Boom Blast on this Myrmidon, and this guy would be able to take a shot, and then all the known enemies, at least, from this turn will be dealt with. So, Yutakeda, take a step, activate our friend, and let's Boom Blast. Well, if I do a Boom Blast, yeah, I'd still have to to get, get two shots. So, let's do it. You got enough will left. We'll be fine says the commander, who can't keep track of the number of mistakes he's made, but I think we're okay here. Alright, we're starting damage. I'm even going to do a little rocket fun down there, just because I like shooting rockets, and we, we have an abundance of rockets right now. And I'm not resource poor to replenish that rocket. So we've knocked out a wing. Now, Mr. Anu Assault Guy, we can get you up here. Of course, at this distance, it's not going to be an effective shot, but maybe you can present the target to him also. Yeah, totally not an effective shot, but we'll see what damage we can do. Pretty damn good damage, and, and we disabled the torso, so we shouldn't... Uh, he shouldn't be able to explode on us and bleeding 20. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the ignore game and move on. Uh, you Takeda, uh, let's do a reload on the rocket. So if we see something that we have to use the rocket for, we'll be ready. And uh, we'll step you I'm over on my here. way. There we go. Let's see what else appears. <coughs> Another. Myrmidon. Oh, baby. We got another sniper out there, my friends. That's unlucky. We've got another sniper out there. And can we even see him? No. We know he's somewhere over in this vicinity. That's for dang sure. We know that. Uh, we have several options. So we can probably... Well, first, the first option is to get Drummix healed. Uh, let's run you inside where we know it's safe and apply the med kit. Or let's keep you right there and apply the med kit. That way, if we somehow gain vision of this guy, maybe you can get a payback shot on him. We'll do it in that order instead. Oof. 
That was a big old hit. But once again, I don't mind the headaches. Let them give us the headaches as long as we have the use of all our limbs. <laughs> I'll, I'll make that trade-off. We have the world's best headache medicine. Uh, just ask you. He'll tell you what to use. <laughs> oh, yes. boy, oh, boy. Now we've got some challenges here again. we got another Myrmidon. This one's running away, I, I do believe. This guy's died. So we got this guy who has, uh, compared to what we've been dealing with so far, amazingly good or amazingly good health as far as we're concerned. He has a kind of health. Let's just see if our shot is worthwhile. Oh, yeah. He has a kind of health, so I can keep you right here, and we could do two quick aims and just take him out. You've got cover if we handle the Myrmidon. So let's do it. And uh, we'll switch guns because we don't need that massive power. And we'll finish our quick aims. And drop the Arthron. Alright, the Disciples of Anu Assault. You know what I'm thinking is uh, Mr. Assault. Oh, you, th this is a, not a jump. Because of this curved part of the structure, it looks like you should just be able to kind of slide on down. But no, you got to go the long way around, and therefore you're not going to really get that close to this guy. Um, the good news is this time we can boom blast him with all our shots, uh, so maybe won't, we won't need that shotgun. And we always have our sniper available to reposition to try and get a shot on this guy, and that would be very possible. But we're going to try and keep the sniper in reserve in case we discover the sniper over here. So we're going to try and see if you can handle it all, you Takeda. Can you do it all? We'll find out. We basically know all we want to do is uh, get that torso damage. So he has to run away due to not being able to explode. So let's, let's see if we can get that going, get that started. That. Yeah. Let's get and this. Took done. out the bench, so there's no no resting for us in between shots. We can't sit down on the bench and, and catch a breath. So we got a wing bleeding. Can the rocket five by make five. the torso bleed? Let's find out. Sure can. Torso's gone. We got two ineffective myrmidons. And that's nothing. So now we've got to do a search and destroy. We, get, we a search and destroy mission is ahead of us now to go find a sniper. And uh, Mr. Anu, sorry to put you out in danger's way, but guess what? We're putting you out in danger's way. In fact, we know he shot from over here, so we'll give you this kind of cover over here. Well, yeah, it's, it's a two-shot weapon. All your weapons are two shots, so you're just running all the way out here to see if you can discover this guy. Let's go. Tango spotted. We discovered him. Now, do we stop in time to have you be able to do anything? Absolutely not. So we'll stop right here. Now, uh, let's see if he's only holding the big weapon. It's only the big weapon, and that's the deadly one. That's that's a weapon that's killed us before in in our uh, season one. And that's that's. That's a weapon that can do some harm. So, Drummix, I'm glad you held up okay to that one. Uh, Kairos, are you able to jump over him? Yes. So, we're probably just going to do, at least for this turn, because I doubt, uh, I, I may, well, I may not be able to get quite enough firepower on him this turn, but we can at least war cry so he can't use his big ol' weapon. And... Uh, before I do the jump, does he have any? Do I have to be mindful of any arms? I do not see any arms on him. So uh, yeah, let's 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 war cry. That that's the best thing we can do right now, given our position. 
In fact, let's war cry and stay close since he can't suck us and drain us with those arms. We'll, we'll come real close. Well, yeah, because we have no explosives we're going to use this turn anyway. And then maybe you'll be in range of a flamethrower to have a little fun. Let's war cry. And uh, getting low on dashes, I do believe, but we still got a couple within you. If we can get close enough to guarantee taking out that torso, we'll give it a try. If not, I may not shoot, just so he doesn't disappear on us. But let's find out if we can do some damage to that torso. We'll take our best weapon to do it. Pierce right on through. It looks like we can, so let's do it. I think I got in and he damage. will stay visible to us. So everybody on this side is handled for the moment. I think what we do is uh, we, we bring down the Disciples of Anu guy. So he's not limited by being on the roof with a close-up weapon. Now he's more mobile to help us down low. And Drummix, now that he can't disappear on us, and now that he can't shoot at us this turn, guess what you're doing, my man? Acquiring target. Yes. Oh, well, that's not as exciting of a shot as I thought it would be. Um, you know, let's uh, maybe not bring you down there yet let's it let let's kind of tuck you back in here so no one else we aren't aware of can shoot at you and you can help us out next let's turn now we still have a sniper Ooh, yeah baby i think this might be the time to bring a sniper out like right here we're barely gonna have an angle okay we can come a little farther and uh, try a quick aim instead. Advance. We got plenty of will. Taking aim. No. There we go. Um, I'd like him to, to, to not move. That's better. We, looks like we damaged the equipment a little bit, but we also hit the arm. Or, no, we actually, he, he doesn't have a weapon anymore. He's going to be running away, crying to mama. He, let's hope he doesn't poop out some mist on the way. But otherwise, we took care of the man. I think we're done. Uh, no pistol to overwatch there. And uh, we, did, we do have a pistol here, but everybody around us is dead. Just Myrmidons probably getting ready to die, but let's just do it anyway. I'll keep my eyes open. He's gone. Damn, wow, I think we hit him. We just got Myrmidons running away, and we aren't even aware of anything else out there uh, that could do some hurt to us. So, I don't know what to say. I, I'm not seeing any sound cues anywhere. So, rather than waste any ammo, I'm saying uh, let these guys skitter away, and uh, let's just end our turn again. Uh, do they not skitter away? So I guess uh, they're not hurt enough necessarily to leave the map. So I guess we have to do something about that. Yes. Let's get our snipers moving. Because they do seem to be the only ones left on the map. Uh, this one, if we can gain sight of it. We can, uh, let's see, we got a sniper here. So we'll gain. we'll see if we can gain sight of this one. the one I was hoping for so we'll, we'll move further forward see if we can gain sight so we can do a Moving. pistol shot there we saw him and and we do have quick aim so what do you know
aiming. I thought since they couldn't blow up that, you know, they'd skitter away. I guess we could, looking at how damaged he is, he, he, he might bleed out. Let's go find out his health. No, I don't, I don't want to wait that long. He's, he's going to die now. <laughs> and there we kill. go. That was like an explosion worthy of the 4th of July on that one. And now we got to get over to this guy. Will he bleed out? He will bleed out, so we're not going to waste the ammo. Let's end our turn. All right, good enough. Good, good, good. Uh, we got that Haven defense done. Let's get back to the Geoscape. All right, look at the items we recovered. Some amazing weapons. In fact, yeah, we, I'm sure we have snipers that still don't have these in their inventory. So uh, I'll take them. I will take them. Haven saved. And we have a new soldier that would like to join us. Um, would we like? To have a new assault that can do bombardier and be a sniper and be a thief well you know i i have like amazing space to have someone join us and yes he's not a priest uh, but i'm not going to say no so advanced melee weapon oh no priest class there's a priority for you there is a priority Okay, analysis of the Pandora's movement has failed to identify their origin. So no such luck on this one. And where do we want to put them? We'll put them in our main base with our other guys we're, we're going to pick up. And um, what is our main base on this game? <laughs> Did we start in North Africa on this one? Well, it's got to be the one. Oh, East Africa. Okay. Uh, it's gotta, I was going to say, it's got to be the one that shows some people at the base. So this is where he's going. We know we got training centers there and uh, whatnot until he gets picked up. So that's only a good thing for us. All right. So speaking of uh, individuals, we have more available. Advanced melee weapons, uh, priest class, which is going to go to number one, and fungal food production. Priest class now has priority. I've been wanting a priest for I don't know how long in this playthrough. All right. Uh, so let's get back to the Overwatch over here and figure out where we need to send the Overwatch next. Um, I guess the stamina is looking just fine for us. So do we have any other areas can't remember if we've actually dug this one out we're going to this one I don't think we've been yeah this one just says ruin so we haven't actually been there to excavate let's go over here to excavate uh, the behemoth is still underwater so we're still okay and we have the other haven that we just made it to but I think yeah we have one more trailing ship uh, before we get there, this is almost dug up and really, we, we know what it is now, but I think we won't have to do that because we have the prote protein mutian, mutane, excuse me. And where do we have everybody else going? I, I got to refresh my memory. Oh, we're heading down to this uh, Antarctica, the Symes mission down here. Uh, I may have some promotions I have to take care of. We'll take a look at there. And I just want to make sure I have my memory refreshed on where everybody is is headed so we gotta either either we're gonna have the antarctica mission or we're gonna have another haven defense coming up let's find out what it shall be okay that's our first ship we got a couple more to get there there's our second ship we got one more pokey tiamat to get there but we also have uh another vehicle close to the anu haven place your bets now here we go <laughs> evacuation complete that wasn't part of the bet and that wasn't part of the bet either uh, let's start our excavation and it's the haven that has won the high threat level daytime at least 
That's why it was so hard to see some of those folks on that last mission. It was nighttime. That's why I don't like nighttime, especially with the level of Triton snipers we're dealing with these days. Uh, this is a defend a what? Civilians. Protect the civilians. Let's see if uh, the full team is there that I believe is there. I think we have three vessels here. And this one has what were what what were the attacking uh, numbers on this one? I can't I can't even recall. Oh, 14 attacking, three defending, high threat level. I think the I think the last one was extreme even. Um, probably because we had three of those nasty snipers. That that uh, that'll make it extreme in my book too. Uh, so this is high threat level. I think we're here and we're ready to do it next time so uh thanks so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed the mission uh i always have fun playing these things and we're coming up to the holidays i'm gonna do some mad recording to hopefully not miss any days around the holidays so we can keep the these episodes flowing cross your fingers there uh otherwise this is zigzag zog signing off from somewhere in this world thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you next time <laughs>